Wow, I guess. Wait, what? Proceed to security deployment. breach. All relevant personnel proceed to the hangar for deployment. Yeah, I'm just playing this game as we are speaking right now. I guess we just have to go with you. You and security breach. All relevant personnel proceed to the hangar for deployment. By the way, I have no idea what I'm doing because it didn't let me go into the main menu before I started playing. So. Okay, let's see what the customization is all about. By the way, as a small reminder, this game is very popular now in the playtest because a lot of people made a lot of publicity for it because it's so much better than what what we are getting from the AAA Western companies. And yeah, the game is probably much better than what we expected, but there's also a little bit of a con controversy around the game because they didn't really give enough beta keys and now they allow everyone to play the beta access because it got popular. So. I don't know, I guess the developers are just uh, making this up as they go. So even if you don't get access to the servers to play in the test, you might like it later. Wait, so we cannot choose... Okay, let's just play the game. I guess you can customize, but you get a basic character every time for everything. Personality? What do you mean personality? Does it change nothing? Yeah, the character models are great. This is what uh, Mass Effect Andromeda should have been like. Yeah, it has it has something for everything. Hey, don't dis disable the eyebrows. I don't I'm barely noticing something change, but uh, I cannot I cannot lower the music volume, which is the annoying thing. Oh yeah, I think a lot of people will be upset by a feature like this one, but hey. Oh, now I see why certain journalists are so upset. So, what I can see over here, I guess you can make every character look every way you like. It doesn't really matter. Because if you pick the basic options, you'll just get the same customization options as the other ones, except they're already done. Okay. Nothing. It's ready to pop! Oh, you gotta get used to t I hope the I once read in a book that the stars will gut I hope the love and passion in you will live forever. Like Please, the roses on the cerulean plain. Kill your sympathy. So your history You wanna lose a battle? Sure. Sadly, a lot of human Only power History is written by the vic Nothing can conceal the truth. But I once read in a book that the stars will guide our souls back to the planet nice. where we belong. How romantic. I guess the presets are not bad to be honest. You know what? I don't care. Uh, how do you continue? Alright! Lunar Marae! Lunar Marae Defense Force! Or Yeah, so people are placing the character greater and it's really awesome, but all that. As long as they let me play with a character that I think kind of looks more or less like me, or at least I feel like it, it can be my avatar, I'm okay with it. I mean, I'm not one of those guys that really likes to play with a woman character just because I don't like to look at what men. You know, I think people are forgetting that this is called your avatar, so it's something that is supposed to represent you. This is not something made for entertainment. The game is the entertainment, the avatar is to represent you. Got a name? Name's Elisness. The latest brake striker, beefed up with extra armor. Code red. Code red. Main cabin breach. Hangar on fire. Explosion in the elevator's midsection. Garrison's lower section disintegrating. Warning. Oxygen level below 20.9%.
Oh yeah, baby. Pyrogenesis Striker. I'm practically at home. Elisness initiated. Mind projection system activated. Injecting EIC particles. Initiating system diagnostics. Okay, fine, we can change the audio. Structural integrity confirmed. Critical damage. Initiating know. emergency repair. I didn't know to press escape because Core I... Right engine power supply confirmed. Incoming urgent message from Space speaking? Garrison. Attention! We are under attack from Thea's vanguard. Significant damage confirmed. Self-destruct activates in 120 seconds. All units evacuate immediately. Okay. A uh, working escape pod would be nice. Hmm. Uh, I need a plan. Bravo. Okay, I'm just trying to look at the options over here without losing anything of importance. I guess that's all of the texture. It's just like the textures, the of field, motion blur off. Analyzing quality, medium, special effects, medium. Eh, this should be okay, I guess. So that's what the game is all about now. Yeah, I really don't understand why games don't let you mess with the options before you start playing. I don't understand this is a PvP game mostly. 6 vs 6. Also, it's a game that doesn't have a release date, so for games without a release date, I don't really... Warning! Under attack! Fluid armor activated! Fire control system enabled. Uh, Calibre weapon system. What? Energy auto cannon and induced sword are combat ready. Okay, so the game doesn't have a release date, so for demos or playtests without a release date, I don't really play them before I start recording because I want the full effect of the first impression. That is good, but it really. You just press and it will shoot. It's kind of like a shuriken cannon from the Eldar. Ah, perfect! I'm gonna get crushed out here! Yeah, there are a bit too many effects to actually understand what's going on. Warning! Self-destruct initiates in 10 seconds. Oh, that's a very big robot. Yeah, Elise Ness, stabilize us! Adjust thrusters, drop us down pronto! Breaching Earth's gravity. Breaching Earth's gravity. Good side fire, fire. I like that. <laughs> well, the characters are, are a bit, I don't know, they're a bit weird and crazy. They're not really game characters, like so not. Uh, system overheating. Uh, Rebooting system. Much. Fluid armor depleted. Power supply failure. System troubleshooting initiated. Warning. Fluid armor depleted. Woo! Striker, good job! I think I'll marry you! Fluid armor regenerating. Where's the orbital elevator? And who or what did this right here? Elizabeth? Contact the nearest peacekeeping core HQ. Urgent communication incoming from friendly ground base. Pilot, this is Zone 48. Confirm identity. Over. Cautious energy. Peacekeeper 98213 reporting. Pilot, we were also blindsided by Thea's vanguard. The garrison's debris has wreaked havoc on us. Unable to provide support. Over. Copy, copy. What can I do? Okay, let me. A colossal some of my striker from CS okay. Vanguard is in the area. Take cover if you see an enemy. First of all, the UI is terrible. I cannot understand anything that is over here because, as you can see, the jets kind of overlap with the HP bar a little bit. I'm not sure what energy is. I also hate games. Yes, I really hate games. Japanese games or anime games or whatever you want to call them. 
They just have attacks that are too fast. And by that I mean the sword attack. Look at this. I mean, what can you understand for something like this? Also, it uses the jetpack on its own when you click to attack. It does a, d a dash and an attack. If you press W. I guess we'll just have to see how it is going to fight with uh, the normal enemy. Red target acquired. But you can see both kind of also works onto the enemy, so it's definitely a more controlling time game. It feels like we need to just go towards the enemy. Warning. And Armor integrity at threshold. That's an airdrop pronto! Initiating armor airdrop. You may switch your main weapon from oh. energy auto cannon to battle halberd. Battle halberd can bypass enemy fluid armor and cause significant damage. You may also use gauss cannons to attack. Gauss cannons powerful impact can immobilize the target. Use complex shield to stun same sized enemy with a perfect block. Activate complex shield to block frontal attack. You may switch your main weapon from energy auto cannon to battle halberd. Okay, so I guess the only option is to choose between rain and melee. Yeah, I'm not really doing much, I'm just pressing W and left click, so... Yeah, it does feel like the game is, is made to be a spectacle when it doesn't really need to look like a spectacle, because the reason is one. So you can hold this for a better shot. So you can hold to reload the shot. Yeah, it feels a little bit excessive. Oh, I guess you I have to press 2 for the cannon. So. Yeah, this game needs a lot of other stuff. For example, I don't think they worked at all at optimization or making the UI better. I think it's a cool game, but it just looks cool ah, for now. Dirt bags! Not on my watch! Woo! I just press shift to do that attack. I mean to do the dash. This is the enemy, right? I don't even have enough time to look at the number. This is gonna be fun. They won't back off unless we take this thing down. That thing that just entered the atmosphere is it friendly? Get over! 
I don't think this is a good game. In my opinion, it's actually it's one of those fun games that you play for a few hours or a few days or a few weeks. But it's really a very average game, especially because the UI is a mess. The you basically press a few buttons and you move like you have pressed 100 buttons. Very console-like combat. Uh, not much to say. It's not really a tactical game. I mean, you're not really responding to what the enemy is doing. You're just mashing buttons. Which is not bad, but still. I was expecting more. Don't forget us when you made it big, alright? Oh man, I'm itching for some simulated action. Uh, wanna go for a couple rounds after work? Let me see how the, I don't know, the mech customization is. Proceed to selecting a mission. Now, confirm the mission. That's what I mean. Run a combat drill in the Crob sinkhole simulation with your striker. Not even this the is data from clear. this simulation is crucial. Nothing will stay on your record. But still, take it seriously. The simulation is generated by AI using our top pilot's performance data. Then, oh, okay. so import it into your cockpit's mind projection system. Getting used to fighting in a simulation will take some time. But remember, the mission comes first. Drill that one in. Break a leg. Combat simulation activated. Virtual strikers generated. Squad assembled. To get a mech based on your choice of faction, okay. Loading AI units. Pilot, prepare for deployment. Tricera, ready to strike. Lumine. Ready to strike. Welkin, ready to strike. Okay, do I have to press anything else? I don't think so. I have a pain job. Pilot. Outfit customization, really? Oh, okay, just put an outfit, a belt, and whatever. Leg exercise. It doesn't impress me. I've seen nothing that I like so far. Or I don't know. Maybe I'm just more you know, typical of games like this. Capture and defend the three data nodes in the crop sinkhole. Capturing the nodes recovers abnormal mining data in the sinkhole. Recover data before the Federation destroys the mine. Yeah, it's one of those games that is kind of meant for TikTokers who like a lot of flashing lights, a lot of moving colors. I just like a more tactical game. That's why I like the world of the Mech uh, Warrior game, because... Actually, that Mech Warrior multiplayer game, online game, was great, because it really felt like you're using mechs. I mean, the mechs did jump around and do some things, but most of them are kind of heavy. Fire control system most of them were too heavy to do anything like that. I have to press shift to be faster now. Node A activates in 10 seconds. Unavailable now. Node A activated. If someone can understand something from this nonsense, that's great. I don't understand anything. Just a lot of lights looking at everywhere. Oh, you have a kill cam. I think I have seen enough and I had enough. This is definitely not the hype game people say it is. 
You cannot understand anything from that nonsense. It's just flashing light swords and lasers everywhere. Probably it'll get a little better at the full release. They definitely need to slow down the combat a little bit, but... Probably I'm also not the target audience for a game like this. I just like the older MechWarrior style games where you can actually customize your robot. You can actually feel the impact of the de of the shots or of the melee weapons, if there are melee weapons. But overall, I think this is just one of those other games that is more like a mobile game than anything else. It seems like it's catering to the new to the new generation of gamers, which are basically TikTokers or just don't have a, a big attention span. I don't know. I guess it's great for what it is, but definitely not for me and definitely not anything revolutionary or anything interesting. It's just... I don't know, I, I would rather play songs than play this, at least then I know how to how to react to certain things, but that was just nonsense in my opinion. Bye bye.